Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last part, I went to town, met Mary. She's looking very pretty and she needed my help getting her brother back from a religious cult. So of course, Arthur helped her. We got him back. We reunited them and they left. But I'm hoping based off of the journal entry I read that him or Arthur and Mary's time is not over. Hopefully we'll see them together again at some point. And then after that, I went and helped John, Charles, and Sean. He wasn't supposed to be there, but he included himself with robbing a train. I feel like it went pretty well compared to the first time. If you guys remember, I fell off the first train almost instantly. So it was a win in my book. I lost a lot of honor, but I can get that back. So I'm not even worried about that too much. And I know I was sussing Sean. I think I have now decided that I'm not sus of Sean, but I am still sus of Micah. I feel like I've been suspicious of him the whole time. That hasn't changed. I think it's time we start progressing the main story a little more. Of course, I'll still be exploring, but it has come to my attention. I am still in chapter two and we're on episode 10. So I think it's time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy this and let's jump into the game. Okay, so I am full health, right? The horse is full health, full stamina, everyone's fed, everyone's happy. We don't have to call PETA today. I think everything looks good. Yep. Apparently this is a, a good horse though, according to the comments. So that's exciting. All right, let's head to town. This is a pretty area. The different um, environments, I guess, different scenery, different type of woods is insane. Hey there, fella. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> is this the same guy? You gotta help me out here. I think this is the same guy, you guys. Okay. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. Quit moving! There you go. Oh. oh, thank God! Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> I, okay. I so, wish I could give you some money, or well, what the hell? I pressed L two. That should not have happened. Well, I freed him and then immediately pointed a gun at him. So that's what he was supposed to say when he's free. What did he say last time? I think he jumped and said, ow. <laughs> and I thought I freed him anyways. Okay, continue. Where's he at? What if he needs a ride? Hold on, let me see if he wants a ride. I'm not gonna kill you. Can we not be friends? Well, this is some bullshit. Whatever. Try to be a good Samaritan and it immediately blows up in my face. Shocker. Oh my god! It's starting to rain! I wish I could keep this weather the entire playthrough. Imagine you could set it. We would do the whole thing in, in the rain. I swear I would. Should we set up camp? You know what? Let's set up camp. Because I need to read my journal. I just forgot, so. I don't know why the rain makes me so freaking happy. Look at it! You guys, what? How freaking awesome. All right, do we have a journal entry? Nothing? Nothing about the train robbery? Aw, oh, show gang savings. All right, we're working up our money. Not too shabby. I 
I freaking love this game. Look how good that looks. How amazing. Ah, okay, let's go riding in the rain. This makes me want- wait, wait, oh, oop, 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 hold on. Maybe I shouldn't just leave camps everywhere? What's the downside if I were to leave it? Or is there one? Would that be fine? Oh, it's starting to storm. Oh my god, it's rolling in. Yep. Holy shit. Imagine a tornado spawns into the game and you have to get to safety. How freaking awesome would that be? Well, not awesome, but you know what I mean. I thought I was supposed to be going the other way. No? No! No, come back! I wasn't done with the rain. Ah, Fine. Whatever. Let's do a slow trot. You know what? I should go to camp before we go to John. I should go to camp. I haven't been there in a minute. Isn't it right here somewhere? Yeah. Not too bad. Get on supplies. Camp funds. Okay, the camp funds are low because I upgraded a bunch of stuff. I forgot about that. I upgraded, I think, the healing station, the ammo station, crafting station. I was doing a lot. I think I want to talk to every single person in camp. Stay alert there, Javier. Hello, Arthur. Don't forget about all that money out there. You squirming little maggot. Oh no, not this. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm just healing you. I meant to say I'm that to Charles. Me amuses you so much. There's no saddle. Oh, I thought he was about to ride that horse. Okay. Oh, that horse's name that was cute. Okay. Always good to see. Hi, Arthur. Who is this? Sadie. Oh, she looks a little different it's on like the. A nightmare I can't wake up from. I ain't sure melodrama is gonna help much, Mrs. Adler. Yeah. Well, look who's talking. I'm only joking with you. <laughs> okay, Arthur. I'm messing with everyone. I probably shouldn't do that. Let's see. Who else is there? I see Dutch over there. Let's talk to Tilly. Oh, I gotta turn the subtitle names on. I forgot about that. Hey, Arthur. My lady. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Okay. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. What oh, happened? I know what you mean. All right, well, I should be getting off. Yep. Okay, no one likes Sean. What is up with it? Hi, can't, Arthur. can't really talk to her. Oh, yeah, I can. Good in town. Finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, then. I feel bad antagonizing the girls. Maybe I'll just do that to the men. Is that messed up? Oh, well. Who is that, Lenny? Oh, I didn't do this game with Lenny. I don't really feel like doing it right now, though. Um, where's Dutch? There's Bill. All the fish you fools is about to eat. I did my bit, Arthur. Good. Good. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one contributing around here. Can't talk to either one of them. Okay. I thank you already. Isn't that loud enough? Hi there, Arthur. Abigail. 
Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. What's she doing? Uh, well, don't let me disturb you. Fixing a sock? Arthur. Yeah, that's a sock. What is this person's name? I don't remember. Molly. Miss O'Shea. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. Sorry. Ain't much company right now. Why? You can tell me. We can tell Arthur anything. No? Alright. Never mind. Who was this? Oh, Strauss? Hey, Morgan. I'll try and see about the debts. Very good. Okay. What debts? Okay, I got them all. Later, Splendid, Mr. Morgan. What debts? There's something going on in the air here, you guys. I don't know what to, I don't know what it is or how to describe it. But there's something going on. Just make note of that. Maybe it's the music, actually. It could be that. Or it could be the fact that every time I come here, there's a whole stack of wood and about 30 people standing around twiddling their thumbs. Who is that? Oh, that's the Reverend. Alright, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to turn the subtitles on. Chop. Come on, Arthur. Come. Arthur. For the YouTube chat to see? Come on. <laughs> They're going to roast you for that. Honoring character attributes can be increased by partaking in daily chores. Yep. Knew that. Alright, let's say hey to Reverend. I think we've said hey to everyone, isn't that... We said hey to Tilly. We have been provided for. But we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. You too. You too, Reverend. What are you doing, Jack? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? I'm well, worried. Should get back to it. Okay. All right, see ya, Jack. He's cute. I think that's everybody. I haven't seen Sean, so I guess it's someone. Oh, Sean might be with John in town. Okay. So never mind. We just gotta find Dutch now. Come on, oh no, there's Sean right there. Is he hungover? Probably. Oi. Arthur. Oi. Okay. You gonna help out around here? I'm Arthur, saying. Never let up, do you? I never let up. Just do your share, okay? All right, Arthur. Listen here. I'll show you never let up. And we'll finish with Dutch. So, we did pretty well out of that train job, but the law showed up real fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, too fast. It still seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Does he do anything? I'm starting to question. I'm like, does he just stand around pointing his finger? Oh, well, you know what? You know what? Whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? It all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. That's for the best. Sure. Of course. I never did like her very much. Maybe that's unfair of me to say because he is the most wanted, so him leaving camp wouldn't make much sense. But I haven't seen him chop a single piece of wood, so. Change clothing. You can change clothing here? I think I knew that, but I forgot. Let's put on our killing outfit. Where's it at? Our shirts. There it is. Look how pretty that blue is on Arthur. I feel like that's his color. No, I thought I put it on. There we go. I want to save this outfit without the vest. 
no vest. Save outfit. So we have custom outfit one. And then let's put the put the vest on with a shirt. It's gonna have to be the white one. Save. So custom outfit two. And then mm, I feel like I need an outfit that's warmer. For when we go up. Oh yeah. For when we go up in the mountain and we eventually get that other horse. Let's put on a different coat. It's gotta be something warm. Montana coat. But I feel like it can't be with the vest. That kind of looks silly. Maybe that vest? Ooh! Yeah, that's definitely an outfit to go up in the mountains in. Okay, so we have the... This outfit suitable for hot temperatures. We have the nice outfit on the horse. We have our cold temperatures outfit on the horse. And then three of three outfits are on the horse. Which one's the other one? Can I remove the gunslinger? I want to take this one off the horse. There we go. Three outfits. So the one I'm wearing, my nice one and my warm one. Perfect. Oh, we got to shave. Hold on. We got a lot of stuff to do. Inspect. Wait, I don't think I've, I don't think I've looked at these. Lyle Morgan. Larceny? Lyle Morgan. Arthur Morgan, Lyle Morgan, Larceny. I don't know what that means. Arthur's father. Arthur's dog. Hosea Dutch Arthur. Arthur's horseshoe. Oh, wow. I wonder what happened to him. He's probably dead, right? Can't believe I'm. I didn't even shave. Dang it. Trim all facial hair. I think we need to go back down to a three. Ugh, no, no, no. How do I take that out? Can I undo? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, damn it. Whatever. Maybe with the hat on, it doesn't look so bad. I tried to say hello, but it didn't work. Wait a second. Forgot to eat. Hey, Bill. You've been bringing in money? Of course I have. Okay, well, good. Okay, then. Hi, Uncle. Arthur? Hello. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Okay. Man, that's smoky. I mean, he's always found a way to play the ice. I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Miss Sean would. I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? Damn it! I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to John. Maybe we'll see the O'Driscoll boys on the way. Let me pull out my gun just in case. Gotta be ready. Oh, 
horse is looking good, I think. I'll go ahead and give it a carrot so I don't get screamed at. You guys see that? The horse is eating. Okay. I bought a bunch of carrots, a bunch of apples, a bunch of food for it. The horse should be good. We're just admiring, we're just admiring. What kind of horses? Kentucky Saddlers. Yep. That is such a beautiful breed of horse. Alright. Five dollar bounty, oh my gosh. I love how the train completely blocks the entrance to the town. Let me go ahead and Hey, now partner, we don't want any more trouble from you, okay? Okay. Yep. Don't start nothing and there won't be a problem. All aboard. Damn. I keep forgetting he does that. Hello there and welcome. I'd like to pay Costs my bounty. A pretty penny to repay your debt. Fifty dollars in Lemoyne. You want my we'll entire sure wallet while you're at it? It's word of this. I guess that's because of the train. No, it wouldn't be the. It would not. Why do I have fifty in Lemoyne? What did I do? I actually don't think it was because of the train. Cause wasn't I wearing a bandana? I don't Thanks, remember. Mister. I'm not paying the other one, so. Where's John at? Hopefully the gunslinger's open. The s not gunslinger. <laughs> the gun store. Okay, so John's over there at that bar. with me let's talk it out let's talk it out still think you're tough? Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. I swear this whole place is cursed I'm getting the law like is there a law man nearby come here ma'am I'm gonna fuck you up Some bad juju here. Oh my. Come on. Let's go. Get out of here. much to say I didn't think I was gonna grab the woman by her neck I just thought I was gonna negotiate with her maybe give her some money
I can't believe they caught up to me. I wasn't looking. I thought I was safe. Okay, I'm gonna circle around them. Well, now would be a good time to rob the place. They're all gone. another rabbit bounty five dollars I I swear. <laughs> I swear my freaking luck I was trying to intervene and then I accidentally clicked square which punched the guy and then I thought I was helping the other guy up but apparently I wasn't I guess it's considered assault if you pick them up. Okay. Well, John, it has been a journey to find you. I'm gonna give the horse a carrot for that. Okay. Let's go ahead and go see what John wants. I'm gonna have to be silent in this town now. Hey guys! Hi! Let's put my bandana on. I didn't see your face, okay? I Good. See nothing. Good! I know you didn't see nothing. I don't even know if this guy's open. He might not be able to sell me a gun right now. Nope. Shop is closed at this time of day. Okay. Hey, move it. Hello, gentlemen. Howdy. Hey there, Just gentlemen. Watch yourself. Jackson Worth Auction Yard. So, the sheep and the there? goats. How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. How's he gonna take Let's care see. of sheep? He can't even take care of his son. We need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift saying things oh yeah what do you mean by that i was a prize pony once now i'm the workhorse listen dutch is but but well you was at that thing in blackwater we already seen pinkerton's here new century's coming this life this way well we're the last i reckon we ain't long for it then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Okay. Can I pick up a gun? Who? Which bank you about to rob? Snake was his best. Must have been poison. Doctor Hayes. Pension post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Okay. Howdy. I gotta take my bandana off because I think I look suspicious with it on. Woke up this morning. That mask needs to go. You hear that? See? Get rid of it or I will remove it for you. It's off. Gun store. Yep. You think that's amusing? Can you, uh, 
Head in, pick up a sniper rifle. Yes! I'll explain later. Oh my god, of course. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You wanna see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I want a bolt action. I didn't mean to click that. Select the rolling block rifle and press purchase. Ooh. Wonder if that's better than the Springfield. Ammunition type. What'd you guys say was really good? High velocity, I think. Grab a few of these. Has more range. Is that why you can get further away from animals? I think that has more damage though. The express. Let's grab some of that. And then I need a varmint rifle personally. There it is. Sixty-four eighty. That should be good. All right. That's all I needed. Thank you, sir. That worked out perfectly. Is Arthur hungry? Sure. A little bit. Let's give him some salmon. I'm very interested to see what okay, John's gonna have us doing. Why couldn't you? Done that. Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. <laughs> True. Now, yeah. Why are you so cagey about all this? I sure have. Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. Oh, oh there right. it is. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was What? Different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Branch. Moken Town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Are we stealing the sheep? I think what he was- was he saying about Mary how John's like balancing an outlaw life and then... A normal life with Mary being two things at once. Whoa. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. That's a pretty horse John has. It would be a shame if it just disappeared from John's possession. <laughs> I don't think I could steal it, can I? So I'm thinking. That the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. We're Let's sniping? See what we can see from up here. Oh shit, okay, cool. Oh, I see them. What is that town? Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. She near the ranchers Watch to the scare sheep. them off. Okay. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. 
ought to do it. I scared the sheep, though. How was I going to do that without scaring them? All right. Let's go round them up. <sighs> well, this is quite the start to your sheep herding life. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here. There's <laughs> not away. much. Be plenty of time for that. Most cowboys I know were... That was an accident. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Whoa, whoa. Move near the stragglers to return them to the herd. Okay. Let's get them all rounded up. There's one. Two. Cool. Okay. They're so cute. There we go. Look at them run. Yep. <laughs> Look at the little stubby legs going. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. Uh, all right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Okay, shot at the herd by holding L2 and pressing. Okay. Move! <laughs> now you got it! Ugh. Come on! Move! Stop riding like a damn fool! Quickest route back to Valor! Well, aim your gun, point it in the mouth. air. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. What the hell are you shooting at? What is this one doing? An animal might break away from the group. I think they're all together right now. John! Oh, move! Is not easy. That's it. I'll move it up. Be careful not to trample the animals from behind. I'm trying not to. Oh. Keep moving. Look at the one on the back struggling. Come on. It's so cute. There we go. Come on. Almost just ran it over. <laughs> Sorry. This was my favorite. I want this one. Hold on, wait on him. He's coming. Patience, please. Yeah, those are up, boys. There you go. That's a tough job. Fine sheep. They're okay. You seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. About what? 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15 20. 18. Done. 
How'd they know? Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we'll pay you. Go on now. How'd they Come know? Back after the auction. You'll get your money. Oh. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? What? He's not in the camp? Easy, girl. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for That's all a big cut. With this. Can't hurt, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Well, never really was. This is going to be interesting. I can already tell. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nebo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And we're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Oh Get out shit! Here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn. And when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Why not? You rob from me! Vandalin! You're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense! The sheriff's office is like five feet away. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? For the sins of another who wants to be the messiah not me nor do i want to be such vanderlyn whomever or strauss How do you place it? I don't know how to place those. I used to do it automatically. Get the cart. I'm trying. I'm trying. What am I doing? Stop. Oh, that wagon. Oh, my.
Okay, that's an honest mistake because that was also a... What the hell? It was another wagon. I was looking at a different one. It was just... It was a blur. Okay. This one. That was a good shot. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Shut up. You can talk and yell you whine about a little nick from the wolf. But you shut up and kill these bastards. Shots, pick up shots. Leviticus Cornwall, Nobody's you've got to be kidding us. me. We'll get back to camp. We're going to gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. All right. I better get out of here. It's just me. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Go! 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 I don't know if I should kill him or not. Are they gonna follow me to camp if I don't? Escape from Valentine. My goodness. That was a freaking bloodbath. Wow. I hope Strauss is okay. I think he was just shot in the leg, wasn't he? I think I can get to camp this way. Mission complete, okay. So I got away from them, but my goodness. 
How many people do you guys think I just killed? It had to have been 50 maybe? That was a lot. Okay. I remember the dead eye thing changing to not be automatic, but I don't remember like how to well, I don't even know if it told me how to do it. What do I press, you guys, to pick multiple people with it? Hell, I wouldn't mind it just being automatic though. I didn't mind that. I wonder what Dutch is gonna say. I feel like he's gonna say something along the lines of, oh, we, we don't need to leave. Horse needs hey, some food. You would not believe what just happened. Don't relax too much. Need you for a job soon. You know me? Always ready. Okay. That's it. Should I talk to Dutch or should I go to Micah? Maybe it just doesn't matter. Probably doesn't matter. Well, I'm glad I got my guns because I don't think we're ever going to be able to go back there. Javier? Okay. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? You turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. This is gonna sound maybe a little out there, but I feel like Hosea is gonna break from the group at some point. So he seems them? fed up. Yeah, Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Micah. Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks Just... like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure. This can wait. Uh, you guys, I don't feel good about the fact that he said Micah. Micah's no. the one that found it. I came because you asked me to. So, are we riding there? Yep. Dewberry Creek. Wait, I want to look at the map. Where's this at? Over there. Okay, and Micah... The mission with Mike is down... Here-ish. Somewhere close to Strawberry. Interesting. I, ca I wish I would have done Micah first. Dang it. May it would have made more sense, maybe. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. Yeah. They must know where we are by now. Not good. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Holy shit. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. It doesn't. Just don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, 
put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and yeah. better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Never stops. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. You guys, yeah. look at that they storm. Got them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Yeah. Is the storm scripted? Because of this? Wow. That is the blackest cloud I think I've ever seen. Can we go this way? Okay, we can. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what? Ain't sure it'd be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. This is what Micah found? Of course he did. Jeez. What a spot. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Investigate the body. Been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Huh. I feel like trouble's Micah. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? First debate, second. All right. Mm -hmm. For the sake of it. Bibles for the sake of it. Oh. You started it. Well, I kind of want to do. I want to do my pump action. I think or semi-auto. See there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Is this an ambush? Pistol cartridges. Nice. It's okay. Damn. It's okay. You come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. I think it scared me because I expected to see one person, not three. What happened? Shader, are you okay? 
Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Mit German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of They here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Don't be like that. I like Charles. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Okay. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Follow Man. Charles. The tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. All right, I'm following you because I don't What's see going it. On with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. No, I don't believe that. I think this is the right way. It's kind of bad timing, Wait though. <laughs> Look at the deer in the distance. Just galloping on the railroad tracks. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. Hey. Where? So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. I was just about to say, if you asked me, lesser men would take that deal. Told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Hold up, let me check this. Wonder why they took her. Why they took that girl's dad, whoever they are. It continues along the shore here. So. You were saying? Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Hey! Sorry! Doesn't want to talk. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Why would he do that? He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. No. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Careful. Oh. Arthur, uh. what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack, wait a second. Uh. I just want to look closer here. No. I hope he finishes that. Carry on along this trail. Now, as I was saying, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Jo I feel like John has a tendency Easy. of running running off. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Okay. What a beautiful spot to set up camp. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. Um... I just said that. Oh, oh my God! Look, who's this? This looks like our fella, Charles. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. One. Drag us into this, Charles. 
in a boat. Well, damn it, that scared me. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. We need to get Strauss to translate what happened. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. But thank Come you, on. my friend. Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Watch Mike and be pissy like, this isn't the spot I picked. I wanted the crappier spot in the deserted creek. <laughs> okay, Micah. What is it that I can put it on to find loot? Is it Eagle Eye? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Man, people are just dying left and right around us. I guess that's the life of, life of an outlaw, right? Yeah, the life of an outlaw. <laughs> it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Can't talk to him. Let me grab the rest of this loot. Is that everything? Looks like it, just about. All right, come on, stranger. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? We gotta go return him to his family. Duh. I was about to walk there. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? He doesn't even yeah. know what we're doing. I can I can't even see. Follow the moonlight. Wow. Okay. I wonder if there are certain animals you have to hunt at night. Is that a thing? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld. Money. Geld. Money. Gold mining business? How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bring mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look. I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Imagine he gives me a gold bar for this. Not that I'm doing it for that, but what if? He might throw me a nugget. What are the odds? His family has a gold mining business. That's so cool. Maybe that's why they were on the dried river. That would make sense. Yep. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Ah. Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here! This place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar! Vamos! Uh, ich hab was für Sie! Einen Moment! Uh, I have something um, for you! What is that? Oh! oh my god! Thank you. Oh my god! Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. 
Oh my god. Yo, guys! Oh, pleasure. How much is that worth? Yeah. We gotta split it with Charles. Oh my goodness. This is the best thing that's happened to me the entire game. What's the worth of that? Unreal. Right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Please don't give it to Dutch. Oh, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. I just feel like there's not much cover here. The other place had a lot more trees. Chapter three, Clemens Point. Or Clemens, maybe. A few days later. You've acquired a gold ingot. It can be sold at any fence for a large profit. Oh, I cannot freaking wait. We gotta go immediately and see how much this is worth. So, I can talk to Dutch, it looks like. New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. Okay. Chapter 3! Can you believe it? Took us a while to get here. Let's see. We can talk to Dutch. Dutch needs to speak to you. Do I want to talk talk to Dutch before I go over here though? And see what Mike is doing? Mike asked you to meet him at this his camp near Strawberry. Huh. Man, you guys. I can't believe how freaking cool. The fact that I got a gold bar, I will never get over that. The New South. How you doing, old friend? <laughs> Not great. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. Lofty We're goals. To reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. Wait a second. He wants to reform society? Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. I didn't realize his plans were that big. Where's Hosea at? I need to talk to Hosea and pick his brain a little bit, see what he's thinking. Oh. This is a nice camp, though. I will admit, I like this place. It does have a lot of trees, actually. I, I didn't realize we're completely surrounded. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst. Mount your horse, all right. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. Come on, then. Okay. Well, Jose is still with us. I'm just worried. I like Jose a lot, and I just feel like he's gonna get fed up and just take off or something. Be like, I'm done! Hopefully not, though. I feel like Arthur needs Jose, Charles, who else? Javier's been nice. Curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can 
breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Time feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where yeah. we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some Mexico? ideas. Mexico? But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. I feel like they're gonna have a hard time finding a place. The soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Duchess That's asked the gang to not use weapons or to cause trouble in roads. Imagine okay. what a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Hmm. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Cool's my middle name. I got this. Oh, 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 oh God. Whoa. I'm not good with pressure. Oh. Howdy, boys. Gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Oh, my. Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. What is he going to do? How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Cody McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Oh, well, allow shit. Allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps Don't you... we can discuss the foolish magician. Oh, they were on a carriage. Let's say, where is his horse? Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We oh. need them Anderson boys alive. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, hurry. All right. You're Come weighing on, us down. Oh we're God. Relax. We're not losing them. We're losing them. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. <laughs> Callahan. On the line here. I I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. No. Sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on. You two fellas all cuddled up. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. <laughs> now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Come on. Get to the side of the train. I mean, I'm trying. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why, Why don't man? you? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Watch out. He's throwing bombs at us. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh. Circle. Knock him out. Okay. Two more. Chase the remaining Anderson boys.
was knocking him up, down. I can't believe that. That was good. Is a knife. Can't do that. Need some gin? Come on. It's so chilling. Are you sure? Sadly so. Empty this in my feet. Do not kill him. No. Try at least. Come on. Sliced up. Bring him out here, Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load oh. Anders onto the back God. of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Where's the other three? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I won't uh. exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. Oh, oh right man, that's funny. Tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Who? Wow, holy shit. We're gonna bear left here. Look at that house. Oh my goodness. That's huge. Dutch has asked. Oh, yeah, yeah, not to use weapons or cause trouble. Yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'll try. He doesn't want to talk. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What a cute little here. town. Very little. Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. 
Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? I suppose so. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. I'm hey, coming. Fellas, show me something I haven't seen before. Money to be made on the new Mr. Gray! Floor. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, Sir. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly McIntosh. good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole so much town for is fishing. In this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying and Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. Ew. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> My goodness. I'm surprised I haven't sent pictures around so these two of us. To like Arthur's every town. Sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good, Hosea. You see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Quite a fishing trip. Yeah. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? I think we sure, accept. Why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Okay. Where's our horses at? What does this environment remind me of? What am I thinking? It's not coming to me, but let me know. Where what kind of area would this be? All right, gentlemen, Similar to state wise. Okay, hold on. I needed a water break. This well, outlaw life was making me thirsty. Creek. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. Oh, I'm excited. It's a good spot. I want to catch a big you're fish. As good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Ah, uh, watch out! Move your hands. Watch out! Sorry. <laughs> Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. 
Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. Okay. Can I... I can't brush while we're doing this? Is it just because I'm mid-mission? Hold. What are we yeah. doing? Yeah. I need to teach you how to ride. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's an accident, I swear. My goodness. I love how they react if you bump into them. That's so funny. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Drake? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. Too you risky. Didn't I don't. Sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I don't know. I feel like hanging around town, getting them to know your face. Just bad idea. We need to stay, at least Arthur, I mean not Arthur, Dutch needs to stay away from town. But what do I know? I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Wait, boats? Wait a second. Hey, those are the boats you mean? No yeah. way! Good. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, no more conversation. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Oh, Come surely on. not. Let's go fishing. We deserve a little fun after the shit show that today has been. And I mean, that might, that might be an understatement. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get oh. her in the water. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. I see zero fishing Let poles. You boys, are you guys. For real labor, no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Really? Picking on children. That was rude. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for. Good luck, then, stupid fish. We have no fishing Boy, poles. Good, <laughs> luck and good fish. That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Tap X. Okay, to row faster. All right. Take it easy, grandpas. How deep? Oh, to the yellow circle. Okay. I think here's good. Good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Equip fishing really rod. Dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much Whoa. better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. I didn't know they had these kind of fishing rods. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. You got something biting, Arthur. You hooked him? Yep. I think that's a bite. Hopefully my fish is bigger. It's 
coming in slow. This thing better be massive. My goodness! What is it? Wait, I didn't even see what he caught. What in the hell is that minnow? Really? Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. I guess it's well not done, bad. Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Steelhead well, trout. Told me once saw a monster Four pounds. Sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Rainbow trout. Should I keep pounder, that? Fifty pounder. Fifty like pounder. To I'm gonna keep it. Hang of this. I'm gonna keep that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. Oh, oh. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can fish, or Listen. you can go drinking all day. Don't hate the player, hate the game. And buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. Ha! Got ya! I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing. I'm gonna look even we smaller. See a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. Four pounds. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. Can I use something else? Well, Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. Oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. There we go. I think I reeled it in too Remember quick. those big yep. salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels <sighs> like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? There we it go. Could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Now reel them in, Arthur. Come on. I want something different. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can uh -huh. only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Same fish? Maybe this one's different? Good job, Arthur. Oh, it's different! What is that? Smallmouth bass. Eaten baked or pan fried, these flaky meat fish grow larger in females than males. They prefer to strike crickets. 
Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Got one. Oh. I have one more lake blur. Can I use something else? Is that allowed? No, I don't think so. Pulling the rod back farther before releasing will cast out farther. I mean, that's about as far as it'll go, no? You got a bite. Ah, oh, I lost it. I want to restart it. I'm trying to get over there where the water's jumping. See that way off, way off yonder? Ready, release. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Moving it very slow. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Yes. Fish on the line, Arthur. Oh, this is a shark. Come on. Is this fishing pole slower than the other, or is it just because we're catching bigger fish? Probably the bigger fish. Okay. Has Dutch caught anything? Have I got that one? Oh, I think this might be the same fish we already caught. That's okay. Oh my god! There's a massive fish by the boat! Like, massive! Oh my... There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a keeper. You guys. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Yes. Oh, man. Is this one of those big ones? No. How do I get one of the massive ones? I see it right Not there. Bad, it's huge. Large mouth bass. Keeping, that one, eh? Keeping all of them. Look at that. You guys see it? Okay, I'm gonna reel it in. Oh, really slow right here. Maybe it doesn't like this. You got a bite there, Arthur. Oh. Maybe it doesn't like this kind of bait. I can't get it to catch. Nicely done, Arthur. 
What is that? Another large mouse bat. Ugh. That'll drill up nice. Damn. Look at that. Can I change my bait? I don't think I can. You've got to reel him in now, Arthur. Well done. Might throw that one back. Yeah, I'll so throw it back. Kind, Arthur. be about the bait I think I don't know oh dang It's literally taunting me. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. I give up. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson I don't know happy. why I couldn't get that fish we right the there. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. Okay. I asked that gal to give me some. <laughs> I asked that gal to give me <laughs> some. She <laughs> says, wait till the taters is done. <laughs> I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know, what does that mean? What? Well, look at us. Free Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we free poor Mariner. Seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Oh, I'm tired. Shall we go dances round and round and round. Shall we go dances round and round and round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round and round. Bravo, we bravo. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. 
But we care for the merchantmen who do our stakes maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground. Are they drunk? Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we have too much fun. <laughs> yeah. Sad faces, everyone. I didn't realize we had a dog. Oh, that's cool. So, instead of going to the hotel when I'm dirty, I could just jump off the dock, swim back in, and then I'm clean. And also my clothes are clean. Easy. Laundry day. Who is that? Is that Mary Mary Beth? Mary Ann? I think Mary Beth, right? All right. I think I Wow. What a beautiful I mean, spot. We, we're gonna be okay. No, nah, I hope so. I Who know. knows? Well, I always know, whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. Oh my god. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Wow. Well, I am going to what a day. What a day. All right, you guys, that'll be the end of this episode for today. I don't know about you, but I had a lot of fun. It was wild. It was crazy. I feel like it fully encompassed the outlaw life and started chapter three. I didn't mean to do that, but I had every intention to start focusing on the main story and progressing. So I'm not mad at it. I do still need to go back to Micah, obviously, and see what's going on over there by Strawberry. Hopefully nothing too crazy. I feel like he is up to no good. I don't know what it is, but he just gives off like a snaky vibe and I know eventually he is gonna disappoint me. So I'm just waiting for the shoe to drop. I do really love that we've changed locations, changed up the scenery. The area is absolutely beautiful. I love that we're beside the lake so I can do some more fishing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you for the next one. Bye guys.